How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming. In this RPG Maker MV tutorial, I'm going to show you a quick, easy little process on how to put uh, animations on the screen with no plugins or anything required and uh, why you might want to do something like that. Well, first of all, I think if you add, add some animations to your project, like in all your maps, you'll, you'll get a, like, a better feeling on the map, you know, you'll give more atmospheric effects. So it's kind of cool to put animations where you think they might work. Now, obviously I'm exaggerating them a little bit on this map just to show off the point but but you can do creative things like if you if the players X and Y uh, location on the map is within a certain distance of uh, whatever artifact it can do things like restore the party and if you see what's happening is there's a lighting effect there but you got this animation that plays and then if the players in range it'll heal the player but if the player is not in range, it won't heal the player. You see the animation went off there, but it didn't show an uh, animation on the player. And uh, I'll do a tutorial on that a little thing. But uh, in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to basically put animations on the screen like this uh, fog animation coming out of a chimney or like electric static coming off like a glowing object or a magic object or something. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you're going to be surprised how simple it is. You make a, a clear image above characters and then set the trigger to parallel. And then you're going to put a wait command that's right here on timing, wait. And this is going to reflect how many frames have to pass before it does the next thing and, and restarts. The parallel process keeps going until it's told to stop, which we're not doing because it's a looping uh, process. So at 60 frames a second, you're going to see this happen once every second. If you want it to happen every two seconds, you'll change the 60 to, 60 to a 120. And now every two seconds, that static electricity will, will go off. We'll delete that one, actually. And then what you do after that is a simple show animation. So show animation is on uh, tab 2, right under character. You just click show animation, and you say this event. And you select your animation you want to play. Make sure it's not wait for completion. That could lock up the game. So not checking that. And then whatever you want this uh, animation to be, you tell it to play that right then and there. And uh, that's pretty much it. So you can make custom animations right here. And you could copy other patterns if you want. Like what's this? Whoa, okay. We'll copy that pattern. And then we'll paste it here. And then we can change the, uh, the image for it. You know, something different just to see what happens never know what it'll look like let's go with something like now nah, that's too minimal let's go with that and then what is it what happens different thing and you could even get rid of all the sound effects and everything boom we created a little custom animation there um so we'll call this uh red heel or we'll call it red particle red particle okay so we, we made uh, a new animation let's make this a new effect right here so we'll keep the image empty we're gonna set the trigger to parallel process this is gonna be above characters and this is just gonna be uh, orb uh, particle or we'll call it particle I don't know it doesn't need a name <laughs> particle all right and then we do the same thing we wait 60 frames or however however long you want show animation and then this event and we'll go to where we created that new one red particle not waiting for completion and that's all there is to it now when we load the map we can just restart the game real quick save the changes and we'll see the animation that we just made like within a minute playing on the screen like that so cool you've got it and it's not quite lined up what can you do to line that up? Well, you can edit the animation, of course, but you could also do things like this. Move this up one and have it, uh, you want it to display it right here, but you can adjust it a little bit. You can even have it moved over a little bit more to, uh, if you don't want to edit the animation itself, you could always do that as well. And Okay, what if you want, it's just too big of an animation, you want it smaller, right? So what you want to do is batch the whole thing. Say batch and just select scale. And then set it to the size you want, let's say 150%. It's going to make it uh, all that size, so we've minimized it a little bit. And it's still looking for the same animation. So let's take a look at it now. We've moved it up and we've changed the size. We could also, oh, or we could, our MV could crash. That's uh, That usually doesn't happen, but it does sometimes, guys. Was there an update on Steam? Was there an update on Steam? Was that what it was? Well, no matter. Did it save the progress? 
It even saved the progress. Awesome. Well, no, it didn't, did it? Because I, I moved it up. All right, so it didn't save this last database change where I went to the, my animations right here. Red particle. What's that look like still? No, it changed the database. It, it made it smaller. Watch, if I batch it and go scale 150%, it shouldn't make uh, any difference. Boom. Yep, it's already... It, so it saved that change. It didn't save the movement, though. That's really odd, because I think I did that one first. But anyway, let's play test it now and see uh, if we can uh, notice the difference. There it is. So it's a little bit higher now, and it's a little bit smaller. So it's kind of closer to the animation effect that you want it to have. You know what, one more thing we could do with it, maybe it's not the right uh, color. So it's really simple right there, you go to images, you change the, the hue to something, what is it, like a green color? It's like a greenish color. Let's go with, uh, let's go with that. And what does that look like? Cool. It's more of like a lime green, isn't it? So let's go ahead and change that up real quick. Anyway, you guys see what I'm doing. We're just uh, manipulating it quite a bit. We could even batch it down a little bit more. Scale 133. Apply. We could add opacity to it if we wanted to. And just keep messing with our animation. And you saw how easy it is for the process to put an animation somewhere to bring more light to your game and more uh, more colorful effects. And we might uh, drop the frequency of how often it does that effect. If You, know, you could always make the weight <clears throat> 180 or or farther out like this one has got a low frequency because it's playing two animations and it's healing it's doing a lot of things so I think it's like 480 frames weight on this one or 360 something and I I'm probably gonna make it higher as well but cool hopefully you guys like this tutorial um, just a short little tutorial on uh, an idea maybe I could give you uh, I know many of you already do this but um, for those of you who are, who are not using animations to show things off like you know ch smoke coming out of a chimney or stuff like that easy easy make it happen put it in your games guys thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this please smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new here I got RPG Maker MV tutorials Game Makers who do two tutorials and I do Q&A stuff and first impression videos all kinds of stuff love you guys thank you for watching we'll see you in the next one Bye bye